don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. I found a place where we can get some shelter. Davy's dead. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out. See if we can find one of them. And this? Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. Get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Oh, there's a corpse right here. It's goddamn Dutch Vanderlyn, you morons! Arthur, let's go search the cabin. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. I'm gonna break your neck! <laughs> this guy just jumped me! Oh, did he now? What are you <laughs> bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. <laughs> yeah, good boy. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, look what I found in the cellar! Why up there, ain't ya? Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing! Oh, you fool! My God! Okay. Miss, you are safe now. Uh, he... They turned her into a widow. Animals. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Whoa, John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <What> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. That's funny, huh? 
Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at. You fools punching each other when Como O'Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Hey, we hardly back on our feet yet. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. They were talking about trains and detonators here. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place there are O'Driscoll's about? Yeah! I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Ah, you know I got your back. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. All right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Looks fine. Smells good. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. This head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. Ah, shit! No! Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Something you ain't gonna like. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. Here we are, you sack of shit. You want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! They'll come looking for me, you know. Or maybe they'll come looking for those O'Trisco boys we killed at that ranch down the way. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Nice. See if you can get another one. There you go. <laughs> Done. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. 
We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you going to ask the same question, Micah? We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Okay, this is good. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me! Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. Was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Here we go! Here we go! Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. Get on up there. Search that train. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Oh, this looks like something. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? When you get back, we'll be moving on. If I hear so much as a footstep.
We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Nearly there. There. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. We really screwed them over down here. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. We have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. It is time for everyone to earn their keep. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. <laughs>